Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's artistic license. My Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are working on our new Yevon run of Final Fantasy X. Okay, let's just jump into the game. Let's jump right into the game. Here we go, okay. Um, we are now, oh, we need to turn off that. We don't need no frequent encounters. Okay. We were just farming up some chocobos. We got uh, the stables pretty, pretty good. We got nine out of 14 in there, but we're gonna go ahead and pause because it looks like it's gonna take a, a while to farm up more chocobos and I wanna continue. So what we're gonna do next actually is go to Kilika. This is the point of no return, okay? When, if, since we've already done Besaid, now if you do Kilika first, then it's Besaid is the point of no return. But once you do this uh, second hot spot, whether it's Besaid or Kilika, you're not gonna be able to go any further. So, here we go. We're gonna end chapter three. All right, to get this started, to, to get it get it going, we need to go talk to Donna. So we've been to Kilika before. We did like the, the um, <clears throat> we did the publicity and open treasure chests and things. But we need to go talk to Donna. And I just remembered she's at the beginning of the second screen. So that's why I, I got a little confused right there. But um, she's right over here. So once you talk to Donna, that's gonna kind of trigger the hotspot events. Just like how when you talk to Lulu, it triggers the hotspot events in Besaid. My, 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 my. What brings you here? We heard fiends were coming from the temple. And you just had to come running. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm not even so sure there are any fiends. You haven't checked? I'm in the Youth League. Do you think they'd let me in the temple? Hmm. So now what? We giving up? Let's take a look first. You'll never get near the temple. The Youth League's blockaded the forest entrance. As they should. We can't have those temple vermin crawling into town now, can we? <laughs> Besides, it spares me from having to see that sulky face. Aw, Donna. So sad. Sulky face? Bartello? Of course, he's with New Yevon, so naturally he's in the temple. Oh, no. But then it's really none of my business. Then we'll make it ours. Besides, I'm worried about the fiends. I mean, it's kind of your if business, you want Donna. To go that badly, I won't stop you. But they're turning people away at the gate. Considering it affects Bartello, it kind of your business. I've got it. I'll distract one of the guards. That's your chance to run through. I knew she was worried about him. Okay, so remember, there's also the chest on Donna's roof that we have to get. So let's come up here and open this chest. We didn't do that before when we were here. And it's 2,000 gil in this chapter. So poor Donna and Bartello probably don't know why their savings keeps disappearing. But it's Yuna. Yuna's doing that. I think it's working! That leaves one. Let's wait for our chance and take it. Uh, yep, I'm ready. Okay. So, yep, when the Youth League member approaches, the guard will open the gate and let them pass and pay attention. Okay, the guard talking to Donna will occasionally turn around. Um, yeah, maybe let's practice, because I don't remember this that well. We had to wait for them to open it first. Turn back around. Oh, too late. But the other guard was watching, so I couldn't do it. Next one, probably. 
yeah. Yeah, I gotta do it right when he opens it, I think. I feel like I didn't have trouble with this before. But that guard keeps turning around. Yeah, it's not working. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I wonder if the practice timing is different than the real one? I don't really understand. Like, he's always turned around when it's gate time. Okay, here's the one they're going to open it for. Yeah, okay, so you gotta do it as soon as he opens it. All right, so we're done practicing. Um, yes, I'm ready. You only get one chance, make it count, okay. You, what are you doing? Oh, it just worked. Run. I didn't mean to do There's the real one. Walk the tree tops. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Somehow I got lucky and it just skipped right to this. I don't know. Wow, the forest is on fire. I guess because it's Ifrit in here? That the, the fiends coming out of the temple started a fire? All right, so let's save. Oh wait, I don't want to save over that quite yet. Oh, I can't go back. I thought Bushido lore was, like, right here. Maybe I messed it up. Is it over here? This is your lucky day. Oh, we learned hurt. I'm just gonna Google Bushido. Bushido lore Final Fantasy X2. I should have been able to stop on that screen instead of just run straight through. Okay, so we'll have to get that accessory in another playthrough. Because I definitely did miss it. According to the Googles. Okay. Well, we're going to probably do more playthroughs of this game anyways to show the whole thing, so we're good. We'll get it next time. Maybe it's easier to get when you choose, um, oh no, bye. Maybe it's easier to get in some ways when you choose, uh, New Yevon or something. But it's a chest, like, right before you go in. And I just blew right past it. Okay, so, yeah, okay. We have to go check all these barriers. So we've trapped New Yevon inside with the fiends. 
That's definitely a, a good thing to do um, for the Youth League. Love that for them. Oh, I need to make sure they're learning Regan next. I think they should be. Let's see. Okay, oh, Auto Regan's down there. Yeah, I definitely want them on Auto Regan. Magic counter takes 300, my gosh. So we can learn that next. <clears throat> okay. Auto Regan. It's only 80, that's not too bad. Could be worse. There's another barrier here. And I think there's a third barrier if we come down the thin path. Oh, Quirrell. It's a queen. Get it before it does its death thingy. There we go. Good job, girls. Good job. Yeah, here's the third bit. Indeed. Okay, once you've inspected all the barriers, if you come down here and kind of like walk this way, I think. Maybe I have to do this barrier last? Because I thought it was going to trip me off to like how you can climb through the trees, because that's what you're supposed to do next to get past this, but it like doesn't show you or let you do that until you've looked at all the barriers. This way. And walk this way. There we go. Here's the cutscene. Donna scene. said there was a hidden path. Mm-hmm. It's walk up. The treetops. All right. So now we can progress past the barriers. Alright, so we want to go back up this way. To the temple! And all these new Yevon people trying to escape. And they're trapped in by the barriers. They put up the barriers last time, but now they're trapped by the barriers. Oh no. The fire is all funny color. Mission time! Don't worry, you guys. I'll beat the ba I'll be back the fiends. Blah, 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 blah. I'll beat back the fiends. I got this. Done it a couple times already. We know what we're gonna find down here. If it's frame, flame isn't blue, it's sad.
Oh, strong fiends. Bartello, there you are. Bartello? I'll be okay. The fiends? We're holding them off, somehow. They're coming from inside. One after another. Oh! If the fiends reach the town, they'll reach Donna! They won't. Thanks. Donna wants to see you. Well, she didn't come right out and say it, but you can kind of tell. Aw, thanks, Riku. I want to see her, too. Even if we believe different things, I'll always feel the same about her. The time of the summoners may have passed, but I will always be Donna's guardian. I live only to protect her. And you can say that with a straight face? Donna! Yes, he can. Bartello's like that. You gotta defeat a series of fiends with these blue flames. It can be kind of challenging if you're not super overleveled when you do this. I know I have struggled at this part of the game before. In addition to the blue flames, there's also random encounters in here, which I feel like there shouldn't be because of the blue flames specifically, but there are. I guess it's so you have an opportunity to level up if you need that. I don't know. Get the other blue flame. Haste. Haste right before you die. That's not that's not very smart of you. Music is so ominous and sad. Two Davis. When you do so much damage, the mechanics don't matter. Alright, before you proceed on here, very important, you gotta pick this up. This is Samurai Dress Sphere. We definitely want that. And it is missable, so you don't want to miss it. Why? 
She's had to kill so many of her Aeons at this point. This is the fourth one. Did it to Bahamut, did it to Yojimbo. Did it to... Um... <laughs> the booby bird, I can't remember his name. And then now Ifrit. Balafor. That's the bird's name. Bye, Ifrit. I'm sorry. Another hole. Hmm. The fire is back red. All right, mission complete. And that's it. Because we had done the Kilika stuff before, we definitely don't need to go back. And I'm pretty sure it's going to automatically push us to the next area. Hmm, I don't get it. Fortunately, I know everything. So why were fiends coming out of the temples? The fiends didn't come from the temples. They came from the chambers of the faith. Same thing. Right, exactly. But why? The chambers are in the temples. I'm just a kid. Wow. The holes in the chambers of the faith. Were they there before? No. So the holes must be new, right? There was one in Bavel too. A great hole. But that one was made by Vendigon, wasn't it? That's true, but they're connected somehow. The halls uh, are connected? <laughs> yes, but it's more than just that. Somehow I think there are deeper connections. Oh, that is deep, you know. Distress call from Jose Temple. Jose, is it Gibble? Hmm, looks like they got into some trouble trying to clear out the fiends. Here's the order. Call wings, and again it. Let people save himself. <laughs> what? Good you. Guess I eat Meg. Well, Yuna? Well, we'll just have to charge him a little extra then. Go wings, let's go! Aw, oh, can't we give him a discount? Wow, Riku. Wow. All right, so we are going to return to the bridge really quick, and we are going to save. And we should be at 56.4%. Hopefully me messing up the running through the forest thing didn't dock us a percentage. Okay, we're at 56. 56.4. Okay, yes, that's what we're supposed to be at. Okay, fantastic. Whee! All right, so I guess we can still go other places after we do those two hot spots. It's not until... It's not until... Because we can still go back. So, but we're going to go to Bavel. We're going to go to Bavel next. What? Gipple, what are you doing up there? Whee!
We're going to go on in. There is a scene that we need to see. All the way in the back. So we got to run back there. My neighbor, of course, is mowing their lawn right now. And it's very loud next to my window. Okay. So... I think I want to... Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep, because the shortcut was already set, so that's all we had to do. Now we're going to fight our way down to the bottom. Only we don't have to do all the crazy stuff again, because we already did it. So that's already set up for us. Sorry we had to win. You can go straight to Jose, of course, but um, but this gets you an extra scene with some percentage points. Huh? Was that Gippo? What's he doing here? What indeed? We you to go down to hole. We we ride the chain. Okay. We should just be able to walk straight down. We don't have to pull out the platforms or anything this time. Piece of cake? Where's the fun in that? This is your lucky day. So glad, so glad. Boom. Wee. 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 All right, we already opened all the chests, so we just got to walk through here. To the end. I wish there was a faster way, but there really isn't. And you got to go all the way to the end to get um, all the percentage points and extra stuff for this little bit. is that rotating room which we can just walk past. Yeah, we can just walk to the end of this. We don't have to do the rotators. There's no new chest or anything. It's just another opportunity to get the chest that you might have missed. I go up here. Then climb up here. Now I can make it. We save before we go farther.
Yuna's so confident with her jumping. It's just like a void below her and she's like, whatever, hop, hop. She's even cool to like grab the edge if she doesn't quite make it and it's whatever. I want that jumping confidence. Hey, you're late. <laughs> if you were on time, then I'd really start to worry. <laughs> so much for being missing. Sure you should be here? The Youth League and New Yevon are crumbling without you guys to hold them together. You expect too much. Learn from us. So why are we here? There's something I needed to be sure of. Vagna Gun is gone. <laughs> Listen to you. Vagna Gun is gone. Are you trying to tell us that since that thing left on its own, Yevon's not to blame? I mean... It's the truth. The thing's more sensitive than its size would lead one to believe. It detects hostility, and in an instant springs to life. Should one even think of harming it, it awakens like a frightened child. Ha! <laughs> you did your homework. I've had two years. Wait, so you're saying that Vegnagon woke up because someone was trying to destroy it? Huh. <laughs> Who? Who indeed? I'm a little confused. You came to claim it for yourself, didn't you? But Vagna got awoke. Why? Because deep down you hated it. Did you come here to use it? Or destroy it? I don't think it? it was that deep. I think he was always trying to destroy well, it. You probably think that's impossible. You've always been too naive to see. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Then I hope you don't expect me to trust you either. I believed in you once. When we were training for the Crimson Squad, I thought I'd never find a better friend. But you betrayed that. Two years ago. Barrelai! Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot Gipple and me? We were friends! And you shot us in the back! Answer me! Just calm down. Nuge, apologize. I mean, I don't know. It seems like he has good reason to be upset. That I'm just saying. Enough. Don't push me. If this is what it takes. This has turned out perfectly. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I shot you. You are easy targets. You and pain. And pain. You shot pain too? Why? <laughs> Answer me! I made him do it. He was too weak to resist me. Nuge? I don't expect you to present any more of a challenge. Not now.
See, I found that the mind that hates and despairs is the easiest to break. Two years ago, it was the same with you, Nuge. Seeking your own death? Now you can have it! Wait! Stop! Hey! Get out of here! Uh-oh. Beans. Man, he coming up fast! He coming up behind us fast! Holy crap! Alright, bye Malbro. See you later. Go save Pain's friends. Where'd they go? Oh. I saw Barilai escape. Nuge and Gipple probably chased after him. So you knew all three of them? Long ago. Yeah, but Nuge, he... Ugh. Yes, he shot us. It was an accident. At least that's how I see it. Why didn't you tell us? You never asked. That's not true. I'm asking now. She did ask. You don't want to tell us. Bingo. Ugh. You want to know? Yeah, but... Forcing you to tell isn't any better. We'll wait until you're ready. No pressure, huh? No pressure. Okay, then you gotta make sure you pick up this sphere right here. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Crimson sphere number one. Now we have to go back to the last save sphere. So those are the scenes that you want to get. And that's going to get 1.6 percentage points. Oh, we still have to watch Crimson Sphere 1. That's true, that's true. Before we get to that. Hop. 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 Alright, so back here we need to watch Crimson Sphere number 1. Besides, no one can handle one of these babies like an Albed can. Good point. Makina, even if the Maester's okay with it, what about everyone else? Shut up. We'll get reported. It? My name's Barilai. I'm from Bavel. You? I've seen this a hundred times. Yep, a lot of people would sooner shoot an Albed than tell them their name. <laughs> it's Nuge. The Nuge. Hey, uh, Nuge? My name is Gipple. And you? Aw, oh, and then Payne must introduce herself. So they were buddies. They were war buddies. Alright, let's go save and check our percentage. Alright, so let's pull out our tool. We should be at, let's see, 58% exactly, which is what we are. Okay, so we're still good. We're still good. Alright. I guess really the point of no return is going to Jose. So, let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go.
Uh oh. Same situation here. Beans coming out the temple. He says Gibble's not back yet. Wonder if he's still with Nuch and Barely. Probably. Probably. Translation? Not good. Then that's our cue. So the fiends merged with the Machina is pretty sure what I think pretty sure what he's explaining. Alright, got a new Albed primer. So let's save really quick. And let's head in. All right, so he placed the calm sphere. Good. On this left side here. Wait, I thought. I thought there was a chest in there. Maybe it's in this room? Hmm. I guess it's not in either of those rooms. Okay. Just look in here, because I could have sworn it was in the left room. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Oh my god. Okay, it is in here. Alright, it's a remedy. And then we can go up. Up and in, okay. <clears throat> Gosh, it's just as bad as in uh, Kilika. Alright, we're gonna first jump across there to get that chest. Thing we don't need MP. All right, so if we hop across here, this is a stamina spring. Now we can go up the elevator. There's this chest here, which is wristband. Okay, so now we gotta push these pedestals. Um, so we just keep pushing them until the stairs appear that will let us go up, or the, the stairs become unblocked that'll let us go up. And a fiend will come out every time you push one back. go so once that happens you don't have to push the rest of the pedestals back but it's super it's random which pedestal it's going to be so you just kind of have to keep doing it until the lightning goes away there all right let's go Hello! You're here for the very end of chapter three. We're about to fight an Anixia. I mean, not Anixia. Oh my god. Ixion. <gasps> Wrong game. Isn't that what they said? What they said. 
How can this be? That means pain speaks all bad because she knew exactly what they said. This can't be happening. Because Riku didn't tell them that in the translation. Alright, let's beat him up. How are you doing today, Blue? Are you having a good Sunday? Just got out of the theaters? What'd you see? Did you see Barbenheimer again? <laughs> oh, okay. He's low on health if he's doing the recharge move. Last Voyage of Demeter. Was it good? I hadn't heard anything about that one. A movie that saddens me for, for I know beyond the shadow of a doubt will not be getting a sequel. Oh, oh, why is that? I really, I know, I know nothing about the movie you're talking about. Truly. I hadn't even heard of it. So this is like all news to me. You know, maybe I should have done Dream Team build. Oh, nah, it was okay. Everything's good, everything's good, he gone. Oh man, it was amazing. Oh, really? Okay, we have to concentrate for this part. I can't miss the pressing the buttons for the after I'm all alone. Mission complete. An unwavering guard garment grid is what you get for beating up Anixia. I mean, not an I keep saying Ixion. My God, the names are too similar, but they don't look similar oh, at all. Another hole. I Universal Studios Stanley can their Dark Universe series of movies. Go oh. Uh, -uh. No way. The hole we found was so deep. It was as though all the secrets in the world might be hidden in its depths. You better go but something in. Something told me to stay away. These secrets are not for me to know. Get back! Huh? What? Uh-oh. Bye, Yuna. Okay. Yuna! Oh no. Yuna, go down to hole. She's got Lynn's dress on now.
It's him. I finally found you. Is that uh, really you? It is me. Shuyin. Shuyin, that's not it's Titus. Me. Len. But I'm not Len. Len. We disappeared together, but when I awoke, I was alone. I looked for you for so long. While I wandered, I realized something. Spira hasn't really changed at all. Everyone's still fighting over nothing. Still dying like they used to. A thousand years have passed, and they can't leave the hatred behind. I'm through waiting. I'll fix it. This world continues to fail us, and what's worse, I failed to protect you. Vegnagun will make that all go away. And we'll fade again. Together. Help me do it. Len. Don't touch me. <gasps> he said don't touch her, Shuyin. Open your eyes. <gasps> That's where they went. They jumped in the hole too. Still possessed, unfortunately. Give this to Pain. It was all I was able to find. Yeah, give her this one too. Huh? Our wills. <laughs> He's kidding. Just make sure Pain gets him. All right? Ah, oh, Nuge. The four of us go way back. Don't go. It's under control. Take care of things topside. All right, Crimson Sphere 2 and Crimson Sphere 3. All right, we're not going to fuck up this I next part. I know what had happened. And after that, I'll catch up on I chat. Left, I found only questions, but more than anything, I'm just angry. One thing after another, and I'm already confused to begin with. Hey! Where am I? Alright, so we run around for like a hot second. Here we go. Spam and A. Keep spam and A. Wait. All 
All right, we did it. I didn't mess it up this time. Come in, Yuna. Yuna! Yuna, reporting in. Yuna! The lighting makes her eyes look so puffy like she was crying from that encounter. Alright, chapter three complete. Yes, we're going to save. Alright, let's see. Let's see about this movie. Let's see about this movie, Blue. Okay. Um, Dark Universe series of movies. I do remember that. Okay, I do remember that. And I remember being curious about it, but I guess, and then they canceled it, like, before it even really, like, began. I looked up, people were giving the exact same take. If the last voyage of Demeter was what kicked off the Dark Universe of Universal's monster movies, refreshes the series could have properly continued. I'm trying to even remember what the first movie is that caused them to can it and decide to not produce any more. Truly saddens me because Demeter was an amazing thriller through and through. No real A-list actors. Amazing casting, great cinematography. Cast was typecast extremely well. Amazing musical score. I feel like that was a lot of... Um, a lot of the original MCU was like a lot of like B and C list actors, not all A list, you know? One of the best horror films I've watched in a long time. 2017's The, Mun the Mummy. Oh, I remember that. I, and like, it was just like the original mummies were so much better. It was like, why? <laughs> yeah. Took 10 years to make. Holy crap. Holy crap. I mean, 2017 was kind of a long time ago. That's true. And I guess they invested so much in this Demeter when they released it anyway. But like, I don't, I didn't see anything about it. Like literally you telling me is the first thing. Demeter took 10 years. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But you know, it just shows like when you focus on making a good movie, that's what the thing is. Like you shouldn't focus on making a cinematic universe. Everyone that tries like totally jacks it up. You know, you should focus on making good movies. And if it turns into a cinematic universe, then lucky, you know? All right, so we should be at 60.2% after that. So let's check our percentage and let's see what we're at. Yep, 60.2. Okay, fantastic. So that's the end of chapter three, you guys. Let's start chapter four. It's so sad that this movie's about to get swept under the rug. I mean, like, I hadn't heard of it, but like, I'll still watch it. Like, if it's a horror movie, you know, and it's good, then I'll give it a try, you know? I mean, you liked it, so it's in, you said like a lot of the internet has the same take, so like it's gotta be good. Like I was given really bad thoughts from the general public. Oh, I see, I see. Well, Rotten Tomatoes, oh, Rotten Tomatoes doesn't like it? Well, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong though. I don't know, but I give it a try, you know? I'll give it a try. All right, here we go, chapter four. He's been blubbering about how he couldn't go on living if something were to happen to you. <laughs> we haven't heard anything in so long. We tried tossing a comm sphere into the hole, but it didn't help one bit. Hey, it's still in beta. So there's a comm sphere down there. Well. <clears throat> Lynn, huh? Yeah, the girl from the songstress dress sphere. Yep, Lynn. That's Lynn? Sure. She wore that dress 1,000 years ago. Why didn't you tell us? It's kind of obvious. No one asked. Besides, all I knew was her name. What's to tell? What Shinra said surprised me, but only a little. So there really was a connection. <clears throat> Okay, okay. So the reason Shu Yin keeps calling Yuna Len is because of that dress sphere. I can't really say for sure. Forget Len. Shu Yin's the one who's wanting to vaporize Spira. Yeah, but what can we do? Nuge and Gipple are already planning something. Let them deal with it for now. But he said to keep things good topside. So that's what we should do. 
Rotten Tomatoes mainly. I don't know the most polarizing thing ever, and I only had one complaint, but that's it. Interesting. Well, I'm sure I won't go to the theaters for it, but once it's out on streaming, like, I'll give it a watch, you know? Because I don't always agree with the general public. Like, I watched the Mario movie um, recently, because it finally wasn't, it was only like $5 on streaming, and like, I wasn't that jazzed, to be honest. Like, Jack Black's Bowser was the only thing I really liked, you know? So I don't always agree with the general. Some people just say that Dracula just isn't good for a movie theater anymore. I don't know, I disagree with that. I disagree with that, because vampire stuff can be good. Like, I love what we do in the shadows. I'm watching the new season of that now. It's amazing. All right, very first thing that we need to do, because it's the beginning of the chapter, is we need to go and get our treasure from uh, from the engine room. Yuni. So let's go there. Yuni. Yeah? You met Shuyin, right? Was he anything like you know who? Hmm. Not really. Just his face. They don't even look identical, just similar. Alright, so we're gonna go down to the engine room. The entire thing is on the Demeter herself mainly. Oh, I see, I see. So is that what it's about? Is it like a- is it a- got Dracula in it, or is it about him, or...? Okay, so here's the chest for chapter 4. We've got our remedies. We've got some high potions. We've got some Phoenix Downs. And we've got some Turbo Ethers. All right, also every single chapter we need to rest. So we're gonna hit up the cabin next. You can let me rest. All right, let's rest. The movie's based on the journal of the captain who captained the ship known as the Demeter. Oh, okay, okay. It was this was taken from a chapter in Bram Stoker's original novel. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. So it is kind of a Dracula movie, but like, not really. And that chapter is like five pages long. So they basically they that kind of expanded it, made a whole lore based on kind of a little side note in the book. They made an entire movie based around it. Yeah, okay. All right, I get it. I, that sounds cool. You know, I like that type of stuff. Like, because that's kind of like fanfic-ish, but like in a good way, you know? Because it's not always in a good way, but that's like in a good way. All right, let's go to the bridge. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to speak to Pain. So after we've done those two things, we need to go and talk to her. Oh no, wait. She's not on the bridge, though. <laughs> I forgot. She's on the deck. She's up on the deck. So we gotta go up on the deck and talk to her. She's somehow not getting thrown off the airship by the wind. Which mostly it shows the talents of the director if they can take that approach, right? That's That means it's got good writing and a good director, you know? Talented writers. They gave me these. They say anything? No. I see. They're old friends. The three of them were candidates for the Crimson Squad, and I was the recorder assigned to their team. Yevon created the squad and started training members two years ago. It was supposed to be an elite fighting force. The best were to be assigned leadership of Crusader chapters across Spira. But... The squad was destroyed before that happened. Most of the candidates died. An accident. The four of us were separated then. Things happened. The pain finally tells us. I don't get it. I was there. I saw everything. But still, I don't know why it happened that way, even now. So I went to look for some answers. You became a sphere hunter. I always did want to fly on this thing anyway. What you talking about? Or is it another one of those secrets? So do all sphere hunters have airships? I didn't want to know anyway. 
Because LeBlanc's implied to be the biggest one, and she doesn't have one. I was just about to tell you. Really? Too late now. Uh, weep, himo. <laughs> we used to laugh like this once. The four of us. I've been chasing my past for so long. Sometimes getting it back is all I can think about. Other times, I just want to forget. Poor pain. What about you? Shuyin isn't who you thought, is he? No. Maybe we should both let go of our past and focus more on what's to come. It's a good point, Pain. It's a good point. We should do that. You're not leaving the gull wings. Always a possibility. So many things seem intertwined, but nothing leads to you. Why be a sphere hunter if what I'm hunting for can never be found? Had the most respectful progressive moment I've ever seen in a movie. Pretty obvious when it shows up and it doesn't act pretentious or make it look out to insult the audience intelligence. That's good. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times when movies try to be progressive, they're a little in your face and a little bit like, thanks, I'm not dumb. <laughs> um, it's pretty great to actually pull off, especially in a Hollywood movie. Yep. Also, yeah, the movie definitely leaves itself open to a sequel. Well, maybe if it does well enough, they'll decide to make one. I mean, who knows? They could change their mind back at any time. All right, so after you talk to Payne on the deck, then we have to come back to the bridge, and there's another scene here. You're not leaving us, are you? I may not look it, but I am having a good time. Right! Right? <laughs> yeah. What about Yuna? Think she'll quit? Offline, Kahoot! Yet fro you got we, Yenret. Told you she spoke out bad. Yuna! I hate to interrupt, but Spear is falling apart with its leaders missing. Check the comm spheres and see. Albed Primer. Can't see it happening as it did poorly in the box office. Much like Demeter herself, the movie sank in the box office. Aww. So sad. That's so sad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I didn't even hear about it. I really didn't. So, like, I mean, I, I don't know. But it takes a lot to get people to the movies nowadays. I, I don't know, Hollywood's gonna have to like really change the way they do things. All right, so next we're gonna talk to Shinra. Wanna check the comm spheres? So we don't wanna check the comm spheres, actually. We wanna go to the treasure spheres and watch Crimson Report 2 and 3 that we got in the end of the last chapter. So let's watch it. Ammo! Uh, I'm out! This is it. Don't give up! Me? Now what? After you. Scared? Bang! <gasps> How dare you? Nuge. What Pain took it out for him. You're searching for a place to die. You serious? It's harder than it sounds. Rucka Newick. You were ready to give up back there. Ready to die. Very perceptive. You'll be a legend among recorders. You're a legend yourself. The Crusaders won't soon forget Nuge the Undying. So why? It's my life to throw away. Nuge! Hey! That's so sad, poor Nuge. Okay, let's watch number three. What do you make of this Operation Meehan? With a weapon like that, it's gotta work, right? They were there. It's that powerful? A machina that can topple sin. Wow, that's a little scary. Machina this, machina that. There's nothing to worry about if you use them right. So, once we get Sin, the comm will come. Got anything exciting planned? <laughs> Hadn't really thought about it. That sounds dull. <laughs> First, he wants to drop dead, and now he's looking for excitement. 
Guess we better think of something fun to keep Nuge entertained, huh? Brat. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you join us? No, well, they really were friends. Like, really friends. Great movie must watch. You can make a se sequel. Oh, prequel. To the voyage and then what happens after said voyage and they reach the ports of London. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, it might do good on streaming. Like, who knows? I don't, I don't know. It's like so complicated. Hollywood wants things to be the same way they were before, like where things are based on box office performance, but that's just not how it is anymore. All right, after all of that, we should be right at 62%. It looks like we probably are, but let's check. Yeah, okay, we're right at 62%. So that's where we should be after all of those scenes. So now we actually are going to check the comm sphere network. So the comm sphere? sphere network is most of what we're gonna do in chapter four. And it really is just like watching a lot of scenes. So there are four that we are going to go ahead and watch um, right now. So we're gonna do Besaid. Too bad. How are things in Besaid, Waka? It's okay. It's been pretty quiet, yeah? No more fiends in the temple. Really? That's what Becklam says, and he patrols the place every day. He's a dedicated man. Yeah, but he's gonna be leaving the island pretty soon. Youth League's having some trouble or something, so they call him back to headquarters. On top of that, word around here is the new Yevon Prager's gone missing. Not sure what it all means, but things don't look good, yeah? Yeah, it's a bit crazy all over. Listen, I don't know about the rest of Spira, but Besaid's in good shape. I got this place covered. It's that, or Lou will let me have it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Waka. Glad they got you. So basically, you control when the scene ends. So if you want to make sure you see the whole scene, you don't want to press the X button for done too quickly. Um, but we are done. Basically, he just talks and then and then we're good. All right, the next one we want to do is in Kilika. So let's go to Kilika. Someone's carrying the comm sphere. Where are you going to put it? Whoever it is is limping. What happened? Ah, oh, it's Donna in her house. Well, that's Kilika Port for you. From the moment Nuge disappeared, everyone's been running around in circles. Just look at them. No one knows what to do without someone barking orders at them. They've already started looking for a new leader. In fact, they even asked me. Figured a former summoner would make a perfect leader for the town. Maybe. Why don't you? Too busy looking after myself, dear. Well, if you say so. Of course, I'll do what I can to keep things from getting too far out of hand. But until Nuge gets back, things are not going to be the same. Hmm. All right. So same thing as with Waka. You can kind of like, <laughs> you can stay in the scene until you end it, but she's not going to do anything else. So that's it. We're done. So there are like some of these you don't really need to look at at this stage. So you can see it doesn't appear functional, doesn't appear functional. Mushroom Rock Road though is functional. So let's connect. Hmm? Oh. Someone threw the comm sphere into the sea. Mm-hmm. So comm sphere's in the ocean. Uh, <laughs> remember we are doing a new Yevon run. So this is what happens to the Mushroom Rock Road Calm Sphere if you do a new Yevon run. They throw your Calm Sphere into the ocean. <laughs> so Jose Temple not functional. 
Moonflow, not functional. Water Salam, not functional. They're gonna be functional later, so like this doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we are gonna watch Bavel, but you can see Calmlands, Mount Galgazet, and Xanarkin Ruins are all not functional. But Bavel is, so that's the other scene that we're gonna watch. I can't remember if you're supposed to turn around. I think, yeah, you're supposed to turn around, then turn back. There he is. What are you doing? Well, for one, I'm running reconnaissance on New Yevon. The Praetor's gone. Fiends are on the loose. New Yevon is upside down. I overheard some priests talking a little while ago. They said, in times like these, we have no choice but to seek the High Summoner's aid. But what do they think I can do? Well, if the gull wings were on our side, I'm sure we'd be saying the same thing. Ah, uh, Maroda. This is just between you and me, but the Youth League fell to pieces the moment Nuge disappeared. Both groups are getting what they deserve for relying too much on their leaders. You there, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Took them long enough. So long. And they chase him off. And you can't even, like, when you get control of the camera, you can't even follow him again. So, but that's it. That's it for this. So that's kind of like the little bit of Calm Sphere's introduction that it makes you do. Um, so that's all for right now. And then to kick off the next bit, we go and we talk to Buddy. Looks like Nuge and Berli still haven't come back. And now Gipple's vanished too. Spirit's three leading big shots have all gone AWOL. <gasps> If I was one of their followers, I'd be pretty worried and scared. Well, thank you for stopping by, Blue. And uh, thank you for telling me about a, a new movie that I... Oh, my earpiece fell out. That I wasn't aware of. I appreciate it. Um, have a good rest of your day. Tension between the two groups is getting volatile. It won't be long before things get very ugly. And Vegnagan's on the loose. You can bet Shuyan's controlling that thing. I wonder if Gipple and the others are trying to destroy it. Who knows? You heard what Berylai said. Vegnagan activates when it senses hostility. If they try to get near it, it's likely to become even more dangerous. Oh, nothing makes sense anymore. I mean, just what the heck are we supposed to do? Newt spoke to me on the far plane. He told me to take care of things topside. That's right, Yuna. As if it were the simplest thing to do, really. And everything was going so well. At least, that's what I thought. I changed my mind. I want to do something. Nuge asked me to help, and that's what I'll do. Whack! Drek it, drek you na drek. All righty! Let's smash that action figure! We'll risk our lives and protect Spira from Vegnagan. Oh, brother. No, I think... <clears throat> there has to be something we can do besides fighting. Like what? With its leaders gone, Spira's falling apart. Maybe we can bring people back together. Yeah, yeah! Great idea there, Uni! So, like, what are we gonna do? Huh? Sing campfire songs? Oh! That is it! All of Spira will be the captive of Yuna singing and dancing! Great idea! <laughs> I can handle the techie stuff. H hang on! I know, I know! I bet Toby would help! Too late, Yuna. Where is he now? It's the plan. The moon flow. Gull wings? Move out! I began this journey hoping to find you. But I know now that may never happen. Still, I will keep walking these roads. I have to find where they connect. I have to see for myself. Would you like to check the comm spheres? The sphere waves keep pouring in. All right, so once you have done that for those initial four comm sphere scenes, and then watch that scene in the Celsius. Oh, wait, there's one other thing. I almost forgot. Okay, you gotta talk to Pain. When you fought Sin, 
Everyone came together and sang the hymn of the faith. Remember? Mm-hmm. I sang too. At the time, my friends were scattered and I was alone. But during the hymn, for just a little while, I felt connected again. Aww. Thanks, Pain. Okay, so singing is the way. Because music is very important to Spira. Alright, so we should be now after that at 63.4%. So let's check and make sure that we are. Yeah, 63.4. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so now for chapter 4, what we have is the Calm Sphere Network. Basically, you don't really travel around in chapter 4. Instead, you do these Calm Sphere scenes. And only certain scenes will get you percentage points. Um, and they kind of go in a certain order. Okay, so we're going to start with Besaid and we're going to watch the Besaid scenes. Two of these scenes will give us 0.2 percentage points, but it takes a minute to get there. So let's watch the first scene. So when you first connect, it's, uh, it's two children playing hide and seek. So we're going to see if we can find the children. And we're going to not press X because we don't want it to end before we see it. Because even if it doesn't get us a percentage point, a lot of these scenes still kind of like add to the story, so it's fun to watch. So she has to call out so he kind of knows where she is. That's a fun way to play hide and seek. I always just counted. I think I see her back there. You can find her, dude. You can find her. I believe in you. She's right there. She's right there. She's right there, kid. Come on, Bessay is not that big. You can do it. So that's basically what happens in this scene. Now she does hide in three separate places before the scene repeats, um, but it's all the same. Like she just hides in places, he runs around until he finds her, and there's three different hiding places. So that's basically the end of this scene. You Let me see. Not yet. And she does a lot of like the not yet, right? I think you she. Ready? Oh, she's gonna hide not in the same yet. spot. I thought she hid in different places, but anyway, the scene basically repeats um, after she hides, so we can be done with it. All right, if we go back to Besaid again, this is what can make this chapter either like really short or really long, depending on how you play it. Now, I wanna show off all the scenes. So if we go back to Besaid, we're gonna see the next scene. And this scene features the doggy. So let's see, where is the doggy at? There he is. So the woman forever walking her dog. If we give him a minute, he'll come over here. Puppy! Let me pet you. Hello, puppy. I pet. 
through the calm sphere. Fetch your head. And then he goes and grabs the bottle that was there, and he's going to go hide it over between those two huts. Um, that's a hint. So we're going to go look between those two huts later when we can have access again. But that's it. That's that scene. No percentage points either. So if you're trying to race to the percentage point scenes, you can kind of like open it, let it play for like a second and then leave and then go back and do the same thing with the next one. And then you're going to go in for this third one. This one's actually worth percentage points. So let's connect. For this one, I think you want to zoom. There we go. Hey, Waka. time yet. It's just that uh, I can't <laughs> sit still, you know? <laughs> oh my god, Waka. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. Waka, you have to calm down. Uh, you're the eighth person to say that, yo. And then Waka runs off, I guess, to go have a jog and uh, burn off some of this crazy energy. So that's the end of that scene. You do want to watch that one for percentage points. All right, next scene on Besaid. This is with the Aurochs. With all the fiends showing up and groups fighting, things are really a mess, yeah? So we got to thinking, what can we do to make the world a better place? Nothing brings people together like Blitz. Right, good luck. So yeah, they're all practicing and they tell you that. No percentage points there, but that one's cute. Okay, back into Biz 8 again. Okay, it's in a little bit of a different configuration, but it's still the Aurochs. <laughs> and poor Keepa gets hit with the blitz ball. Uh, quote a little warning this time. <laughs> poor Keepa. And then Bada just runs off. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So that's not for any percentage points, but this next scene is for percentage points. I think we pushed the camera over there to see it, I thought. Maybe I have to look at the Aurochs first. So there's the Aurochs all practicing. There we go. That triggered it. Beklum! Take my eyes off you for one minute and you're playing ball. That is their job. They are a Blitzball team. They should Sorry. be playing ball. And that's it. Basically, Beklum chastises them. Um, and that is four percentage points. So. There is one more scene in Besaid. This one's not for any percentage points. So let's connect. Orox again. Running drills up the stairs. They're trying to do like little flippy jack shots, like Titus taught them.
Uh oh, Bot has got the ball again. At least Keep is not behind him this time. Oh! And the comm sphere is done. <laughs> Yep, uh, yep. Shinra, you said it. So that's it, they broke the comm sphere. Now if you try to go back in... It basically is just tilted on its side now. Alright, so let's return and let's save. So from watching the Besaid scenes, two of those got us some percentage points, so we should be at 63.8% now. So let's go look. Yep, 63.8. Okay. So let's go back to the comm sphere network. Yeah, let's watch some comm spheres. So next we've got Kilika. So we've got either Kilika Port or Kilika Temple. So Kilika Port actually does not have any scenes that are worth percentage points, but Kilika Temple does. Um, also, I have to pee, so I'm gonna pee real quick and then we're gonna watch the Kilika scenes. Okay, I'll be right back. So let's watch the Kilika port scenes. Here we go. All right, so if you told Leon and Aid to go to Kilika, you wanna to pan to the bottom right here, and we should hear some footsteps, and then Donna should appear. Donna. Hey, lady. We did tell Leon and Aid to go to Kilika, didn't we? What is it? You want some pets? Baby, come here. Okay, I don't want to leave this scene because I don't want to, like, mess up triggering it. But she's supposed to come talk about Leon and Aid. But nothing is happening. Do I need to zoom? Maybe I need to zoom. Let's try being zoomed in and waiting a minute. There she is! You know, there were some Ronso children here the other day. Apparently, they came looking for a way to fix a broken horn. I don't think they had any luck, though. I see. But to come so far looking for a way to recover something that was lost, I suppose I could learn from that. <gasps> oh, Donna, yeah! You can never get back what you've lost, so just learn to accept it. That's what they tell me. But even so, it's hard to just smile and walk away. Mm-hmm. It is. Hello. Uh, 
What about him? What has he got to do with anything? Of course, if he said he wanted to come back, I certainly wouldn't stop him. Oh, Donna, Bartolo is like the only thing in this world you actually care about. All right, so that's it. We're done with this scene. I like these scenes because you learn more about Donna. Mm, nothing's changed here. You should hear the latest crazy rumor. Tell me, tell me. They're accusing Nuyevin of assembling an attack force inside the temple complex. They must have forgotten that they control the only road to the temple. See those kids? Their sister is in the temple too, and they haven't been able to see her. I hope the balloons reach the temple. Balloons. We know balloons from the Luca mission. Okay, so that one ends on its own. You don't press it to end it. So let's connect again. Okay, so if you zoom in on her, she has a line. Oh, she miss him so much. But that's it. That's all that's in that scene. And there, nothing happens here. This is just the last scene. Once you get to this, you know you've watched all the scenes. Um, and this varies depending on whether you do Youth League or, or New Yevon. There's an additional scene you can get if uh, you chose Youth League. So, but if you since we chose New Yevon, this is the final scene. So none of those that we saw got us any percentage points, but they're fun. So now we're gonna do Kilika Temple. All right, so this one you have to come down here because you have to actually trigger it. So you point the camera at the temple door and then you zoom in. And there we go. So then Bartello comes out and this is the scene. What's up, Bartello? How's it going? How are things at the temple? The fiends have stopped coming. But without Barilai, everyone is uneasy. The balloon made it. Forget about us, though. What about Killiga Port? Is the Youth League protecting the town? The Youth League's a mess now, too, without their leader. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no, indeed. And here I am, boarded up in a temple. I... I, I can't take it! Donna! <laughs> Such wanton and vocal destruction. <laughs> he yells so loud he break the calm sphere. Okay, so now if we try to go to Kilika Temple um, and connect. This is it. This is all we get. It's broken. Bartello yelled too hard and too loud. Alright, so that, actually seeing him do that does get you some percentage points. So let's go save and check and make sure we got them. So we should be at 64% now. So let's check. Yep, we're right at 64%. Okay. Next, let's watch the Luca scenes. Wanna check the comm spheres? and the Youthly continues to rock Spira. What's your take on the situation? Hmm. I think it's about time the people in charge stop fooling around and get their acts together. They need to tell the rest of us what they have planned for Spira's future. So basically... What was that? They're carrying around the comm sphere. sphere waves. But there's so many sphere waves in Luca that it kind of doesn't really work. So you can watch that scene. That one's not for any... 
uh, percentage points. This next scene also is not for any percentage points. Anything you'd like to tell our viewers? If the Youth League and New Yevon want to fight, that's their business. I just wish they'd do it somewhere else so the rest of us can live in peace. All right, let's connect again. This next one is for percentage points. Anything you'd like to say to Spira? Well, I don't know much about no New Yevon or Youth League politicking. But I figure once blitzball season starts up, everything will be just fine. That's quite the take, sir. That's quite the take. Alright, you can go back to Luca one more time. And this is this is all it does. Like basically they they broke it. <laughs> it won't connect. <laughs> so they broke it from having too many other sphere waves around it. So we should have gotten some percentage points from that third, like, Blitzball interview dude that was like, I just want Blitzball back. Mood. Um, and so let's make sure we should be at 64.2% from that. Yep, yep, that was right. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna skip Meehan for now, because that one's a little bit different what we do. So we'll do that at the beginning of the next stream. Um, but we're, so we're gonna skip Meehan, and we're gonna go to Mushroom Rock Road. Since this is a new Yevon run, all you get is underwater. That's it. If we move left... I think actually you can move right too, because I think this one rotates all the way around. You see a shoe puff! Shoe puff? <laughs> shoe puffs subsist on a diet of marine organisms. They can cross even the vastest oceans. You must love shoe puffs. Some things little boys never grow out of. Oh, that's what Waka says too. So yeah, you see a shoe puff. That's new new Yevon exclusive scene. Not for any percentage points or anything like that though. Alright, so yeah, we're skipping over Meehan. What do we want to do next? Okay, let's go look at Moonflow next. Um, that one also isn't for any percentage points, but there's some fun scenes, so let's go see where, what's going on with Toadly. Oh no, you have to go right. I think? There should be someone here. Where are they? Ah! I wonder where Toadly went. He's behind my face. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, There's the one that's going to talk to us. Is Tobley all right? She chief is feeling under the weather. Where is he now? It's me. And that's it. The Hypello don't know where he is. So that's it for that scene. If we go back into the moon flow, there's a couple of other scenes too. The high pillows are practicing. So he doing his horn. I think he's the only one. Yeah. Oh, here comes some more for practice time. It's sad all of the leaders are missing. Even Tobli, Leader Tobli, is missing. Okay, if we go to Moonflow again... Oh, it's playing this one again. I guess I didn't watch this long enough? There's definitely more scenes than just that. Let's see if we can catch the others. Or if it's just going to keep playing this one. Okay, yeah, different one. So, this is the next one. So 
Though I think for some of these, like, it's random. What order they go in. So there's a Hypello walking across. Over here, they're just kind of like... This Hypello that's behind my camera is kind of just like talking to someone off screen. But yeah, they're just walking around and talking. This is the same one we just saw. Oh no, it's slightly different? Oh, no it's not, no it's not. It's the same. Yeah, I think after Yuna asks where Tobli is, the way that Moonflow works, at least based on the playthroughs that I have done on stream and, and myself, is like it's a little bit randomized. Oh, here's the other one. Here's the conversation one. These three Hypella will have a conversation. But you don't get to hear it. So yeah, that's the Moonflow scenes. And none of those are worth any percentage points. All right. Turn to the bridge. Let's save our game. All right, next week when we play this, we will do some more of chapter four and more calm scene watching. There is a really fun one that we'll start with, which is Mihen, so get here early for that. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.